Logic Data Modeling, presented by Dr. Art Langer. Hi, I'm Dr. Art Langer, and I'm here today to talk to you about Logic Data Modeling, the basis of designing today's database products. Uh, the fundamental concepts of Logic Data Modeling is to be able to take a list of data elements and somehow applying various different methodologies to come up with the best relational database design that you can. Under that process today we'll talk about normalization, uh, going through various three forms of normalization to come out and prove that a lot of about logic data modeling is very much a mathematical process. Indeed what we want to do today is not concentrate so much on the physical aspects of guessing where data should go, but applying various different formulas which very much can predict the way data behaves. The challenge, of course, is to understand what the relationship is between data elements. That in itself is very key. To start our conversation, though, the best thing for us to do is to really look at a physical adaptation of what happens to data and where it comes from. So let's look at something called an order file. Now, if you were to look at an order or have a file of information which was storing data elements about an order, it would probably come from a physical world which looked like this. It would be somewhat of a form, and it would have an order number. It would have an order date. It would have a customer number. It would have the customer's name. It would have customer address. And we would look at this information and somewhat call it the header. And this is very much the things that we see in everyday life of what a form looks like whether that form is a physical form or an electronic one. And then we'd have another interesting part of the order. And that would be the detail. And the detail would look something like this. You'd have the item number, the item name, the item quantity, the item price, and the item total. And then you would have these lines, which we would call line items. So in this detail will be made of line items, which are occurrences of every item that is associated with this particular order. And then on the bottom, we probably have something that would look like this. And it would be, say, total amount. And what we would have there is the totaling of all of the individual items, item totals, would come up to a total amount of the actual order itself. Now, the reason I'm using this example is we see, you will see so many replications of this style as an example of actually how to apply logic data modeling. So keeping this in mind as our physical world, as what we would have started with at some phase, how do we now turn this into an actual database design. We might immediately make the decision that we need a file called the order file, and that's our file, and we would take all of these data elements and put it into that particular file itself. Well, nothing would be worse because we need to apply various theorems to understand how this works. And when we look at logic data modeling, there is a lot of steps involved in it, but let's take a look at the three most crucial. And let me list them for you. The first one is to identify candidate keys. The second is to select the primary key. And the third 
is to apply normalization. Now, while this is not an exhaustive session on all of the aspects of logic data modeling, this is clearly the three most important aspects, which will eventually give you, as we will do today, what I would call an entity relational diagram, which ultimately is the logical diagram of what the database is going to look like. It is more readily known as the ERD. So keeping that in mind, let's now go ahead step by step defining what each one of these things mean and then transforming this form, which otherwise would have been an order file, into a relational database model based on the concepts of normalization and defining what that is while we do it.